Hey all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the southwest, more specifically Tombstone, Arizona. And even more specifically than that, I'm at the OK Corral. And what is the OK Corral? It's one of those things, you ever, as an American, you hear certain phrases so often, like the OK Corral, the showdown at the OK Corral, that you don't even realize that you don't know what it is. It's just like, of course, it's cowboys and guns but you don't like know the actual story. Um, that's kind of what I was like. I was like, oh, it's the OK Corral. But then when I thought to myself, well, what is that? I really couldn't pull up much in my brain. Apparently this is where the most famous gunfight in the American West took place. It was involved uh, Wyatt Earp, who I've heard of, and Doc Holliday, who I've heard of, where they shot down some no good scoundrels. Now they actually do like ghost town style reenactments of the gunfight, but unfortunately, I just missed it. Luckily for me, if anyone misses the actual live gunfight, there's a robotic gunfight to take its place. To hear the gunfight story, push button. Welcome to the OK Corral. The West's most famous gunfight began where you are now standing. Their best gunman, Frank McLowry, stands with his oh, brother Tom. He moves. Ike Clanton, leader of the powerful Clanton gang, is accompanied by his kid brother Billy. They hope to confront Doc Holliday, who lives nearby and flies boarding house. Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan Earp have just arrived, joined by Wyatt's good friend Doc Holliday. Virgil Earp, Tombstone's chief of police, orders the cowboys to put up their hands. In the next few seconds, nearly 30 shots will be fired. I've come to disarm you! This fight has commenced. I either fight or get away. Why? I got you now, Doc. Well, a good one if you have. I'm shot right through. I got him! All right, I guess these are the men that were killed at the OK Corral. Thomas McClory, William Harrison Clanton, and Robert Findlay McClary. Did these open? No. This is Doc Holliday's girlfriend, Big Nose Kate. I wish she would turn around though so I could see her big nose. Oh wait, there she is. You know, I don't think that nickname is fair. Not that big. This is the prostitute's crib. Wonder what goes on in there. There's the famous picture of dead cowboys. Oh, and there's some some really creepy old west bombing tools. All right, we are at the legendary Boot Hill Cemetery here in Tombstone. Arizona. This is the cemetery on which all comedy theme park western cemeteries are based on. So let's see if we can find Lester Moore. It's interesting is that people apparently just buried under a pile of rocks and the tombstones are actually wood, which is something you don't see too often uh, in the mountains. Here's the actual Cowboys that were killed at the OK Corral, Billy Clanton, Frank McLaurie, and Tom McLaurie. It's 
So they were murdered in the streets of Tombstone. Unknown, found an abandoned mine. It's just a dead body they found in a mine. They didn't know who it was. Look, just put on his tombstone and he was just shot. Oh, this guy was shot too. Wonder if they all were shot here. Oh, this guy was hanged. All these gravestones, they say like shot or murdered. Notice none of them say died of old age while laying in a big comfy bed. Wow, these, these inscriptions are intense. No, you've gotta be kidding me. I was, I was joking. Are you telling me that Lester Moore is a real person with a real comical gravestone? I didn't think that limerick based graves existed in real life. My entire world is turned upside down. Miss Ah Lum, born in China, 67 years old. She's probably the oldest person in this entire cemetery. So apparently they just shoved two Asian corpses into this grave and called it a day. You know, when I die, please don't put the name of the guy that shot me on my gravestone. This is just bordering on absolute insanity. Here lies George Johns, hanged by mistake, 1882. He was right, we was wrong, but we strung him up and now he's gone. What world is, is writing joking poems about accidentally killing a man acceptable? <laughs> All right, to anyone who's listening, when I die, I want my gravestone, regardless of how I die, I want my gravestone to just have my name and say murdered underneath it. Hey, this person died a natural death. What a shocker. Maybe the only one. Sudden death? That's, that's frightening but vague. Oh dear. So, Boot Hill Cemetery. It's, it's just like being in a real theme park comedy cemetery, only with real dead bodies. Crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, appreciate uh, you guys watching. Uh, if you'd like to see where I've been, uh, please check down below in the description for an interactive map that'll show you where I've been on my road trips. Uh, also, if you'd like to support the channel, a $3 donation on Patreon will get you a postcard once a month. Uh, you can buy t-shirts as well. And there's other ways to contribute if you'd like, and all that's down in the description. For now, this one's in the bag.